and I want us to go straight to the word of God. Today we are going to study something uh, and to teach ourselves something from the word of God on how you can win your toughest battles. You know there are battles and there are battles. Yeah? There are battles and there are battles. You can have some battles that you can ignore but there are other battles which are a matter of life and death. Eh? And when you win those battles, you are free and free indeed. I know some of you do not know. The, our president is no longer an accused person before the ICC. Amen. Amen. Give Jesus a good hand clap. Amen. He is no longer an accused person. Before the ISIS, the charges were dropped. Amen. And we thank God for that. Amen. Amen. That is a prayer answered. Amen. That is not the power of politics. It is not the power of politics. It is the power of our God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the case against the deputy president shall also be defeated in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We said it before and we are saying it now. We know that everything worketh together for good. And after everything has done what it is supposed to do, it has to be laid off. It has to be pushed out of the way. So if anybody tries to try our sitting president, he's trying to try all of us. Uh -huh. And our sovereignty. And every dignity of Kenya. And so it is a good day for us today. We can celebrate more. Give, a, give Jesus a good hand clap. Pigia Yesu Makofi Mazuri Ashangwe na vigelegele kwa sababu ni kazi yamba ameifanya. Jana sasa ni mzee. Kaoni kasema ilikuwa 
are some people they don't understand. If the president is accused, you are accused. You know, all the way to the deputy president, those, all of those people are just politicians who can be there, who can hold their own individual opinion on any issue on the land. But from there onwards, we get into what we call the presidency. The presidency, once you get there, you stop being a leader of just a political party or a political wing. Sure. And you become a symbol of national unity. Yeah. Number two, you become a representation of the entire country. Yeah. And you become a custodian, a custodian of our independence. Seven days before the elections is when the Lord spoke to me. And he told me that he has given us a president. And I wrote it on my Facebook wall. That in this jubilee year, it is jubilee government that is coming into power. I was cast. And I, even by pastors from our region. Huh? You know, I look like the former president, uh, vice president. So, some of my, you know, my tribesmen who are still in their tribal cocoon thought that everybody should follow their tribal demons and not listen to the voice of God and not hear when God speaks. So I told them, to, you know, I know that I told them your people are not winning. And so, what can it now? What can it now? It came to pass or it didn't come to pass? It came to pass. But as you say, if you are not praying, we have been praying. And we are believing God for more. Amen.